home. I didn't think you want anyone around the house today. Thank you. She said you and Jamie are in a press. Oh, spare me. You know, Chaz will be making sure that everyone believes her version of events. I can't be doing a fake sympathy today. I didn't mean to be so harsh about Jamie yesterday. Whatever I think, he's your son. And I was wrong to do that. No. Jamie wasn't always so bad. He was a lovely boy when he was young. He was funny, goofy, smart. I should never have brought him back here. You can't blame yourself for what happened. Maybe not. But I dragged him down to my level and ended up hating him for it. He gave you good reason for that. I can't undo what happened between us. I can't fix it. I left it too late. You were right. He's gone. I know it now. I could stay with you today if you wanted. Thanks. I appreciate the offer, but I, I need to be on my own. Listen, I've been thinking about everything and I'm so sorry for what I said the other day. I didn't mean any of it. Well, that's not true at all. You meant every word. I really did love him. And you did your very best to trap him. He wanted to run away just as much as me, maybe more. So why didn't he show up? Why was he all the way over by the lake when he was supposed to be meeting you? I don't know. Even Jamie saw it for what it was. One last desperate ploy to cling on to a man who didn't love you. I know he didn't. OK, I wanted him to and I wanted us to be a family. I still do. Yeah, well, we all want what we can't have. He's dead, Gabby. He's not coming back. I suggest you accept it. I don't think I can. When all's said and done, you need to ask yourself one question. Are those tears really for Jamie or for you? I think we both know the answer. <laughs> 